And high school football season about to be upon us. And while it's an exciting time for parents and students, it can also be scary as young athletes step on the field. This morning, Dr. Heather Hammonds with Scott & White is here to talk about one of the more frightening injuries. Good morning to you. Good morning. Man. We're talking concussions. Of course, we automatically think football. It can include other sports. Um, and you guys have a special center fully devoted to concussions. Tell me about that. Right. At Scott White, we have a sports medicine um, center that does have specific um, care for the sports-related concussion. Um, so our, our, we have multiple specialties that are all involved with that, so provide a comprehensive care. We have neurologists um, all under the same building, um, sports medicine, our physical therapist for um, the cognitive side, or for the uh, physical side, mm -hmm. and then um, speech therapists as well as our um, athletic trainers. Mm -hmm. And we think of football when we think of concussions, but what are some other um, reasons that someone might come in with that type of injury? So football does, um, is about 60% of our concussions. The American College of Sports Medicine and estimates 3.8 million concussions per year in recreational and sports related um, uh, activities. So um, football does provide 60% of those and 85% actually go undiagnosed. Other sports, uh, we see a lot in basketball, anything that has a lot of contact uh, to smaller or also as well as soccer. Um, female soccer actually has a good number um, that we see within that. But pretty much anything that there's a risk, because it's not only direct, it's also rotational forces that can lead to um, these type of injuries. Mm -hmm. What actually happens to your head when you receive a concussion? So yeah, a concussion diagnosis is actually anything that can lead to a jolt or a um, direct impact as well as the rotational force. And it's actually at the functional level um, that there's a disturbance. Um, there, it's a disturbance that leads to a functional um, uh, issue. Mm -hmm. So it causes the brain to not quite function as normal. So. so let's talk about the signs and symptoms. If you think that your child or you yourself might have a concussion, what are some of the warning signs? Right, and uh, as we saw, there's uh, up to 75 percent that go undiagnosed so that's a very mm -hmm. important question so there's um, to make it a little more easier to comprehend there's four different areas of symptoms there's going to be your physical symptoms which can be the headaches and me the big one that people will um, recall the um, light sensitivity sound sensitivity um, they may have troubles walking and um, balance issues and then it goes on to emotional symptoms so Maybe having a lot of outbursts, um, depression, uh, the emotional or cognitive symptoms where they'll have troubles concentrating in school, and that may even be the initial area we find is is grades start to drop, mm -hmm. um, uh, concentration and, and word recall as well as sleep issues um, but, are ones that we and, may and obviously the most important thing is get get to the doctor. Correct. So um, getting the appropriate care, mm -hmm. and as we've seen a lot here recently, there's been a lot of changes in um, cognitive. I mean, in um, concussion care and um, getting with the House Bill 2038, which is under UIL's held accountable to, they are required to see a physician before they can um, be released back to their sport. So we do recommend with all the new changes that you see someone who does have some updated uh, evaluations and, mm -hmm. and management um, into that so if they've had some degree of extra training in the last couple of years so um, certainly recommended to, to have that to get you back down the best route um, and the, the big issues within that is there's three risk factors that um, we're really trying to keep of course keeping the athlete healthy as possible mm -hmm. and able to get back to their sport because it's fun to do their sports um, of course the post concussion syndrome which is uh, extended symptoms that we talked about earlier that mm -hmm. may go on for months, even up to years, and the chronic traumatic encephalopathy, which we see in the um, at the level of our NFL players here mm -hmm. lately, as well as the, um, of course, the most devastating would be that second impact syndrome, which is very um, high morbidity, high mortality rate. There. Got it. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Hamans, for coming Absolutely. in this morning. Very good information, and uh, you guys are about to be pretty busy. Yes, we are. If any further questions, they can always check out at, health, at healthyathletes at sw.org for any further questions. If they can get a baseline impact test that's excellent to help us in our um, evaluations. So. All right.